Hi everybody and welcome to another tutorial on MIRAC. Uh, it's a great day because um, a new release of MIRAC has been re has been issued and this contains updates to work inside and host like an AUV3 instance. And here we are in AUM and I'm going to guide you through how to quickly create a bit using just MIRAC inside the AUM as a AUV3 instance. So let's add a first audio channel. Let's click on the plus sign and search for MIRAC. And here we are, you can see instrument audio unit. So let's click on it. Let's expand on it. Okay, brilliant. So it looks a bit different and we go through additional tutorial to explain how this works. But for now, let's test it. So let's click on the plus sign. Let's go on the tags for different category. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Let's select sequencer and let's pick up um, the semi-modular synth for impromptu. Let's click, oops, I should have clicked add to patch. So click again, add to patch, perfect. Now let's um, connect the bit to uh, the clock so we can control the clock directly from AUM. Before I connect the output, let's create a simple uh, melody. So we go to steps, we decrease these to, uh, for example, to, to eight, like so, and let's um, uh, build a bit of melody. So C, C, uh, E flat, perhaps um, A, G, the, um, a then a B flat like that so let's connect the output and let's listen so like so let's connect the left and right output from the low pass filter and let's click play in AUM perfect and it works so wonderfully so let's add another audio channel like so let's click on the plus sign and search again for MI Rack, and here we go. Second instance of MI Rack. Let's open that, let's expand that, let's click on the plus sign to add the patch tags. Let's go down again inside the sequencer. Let's bring the same um, uh, sequencer up, the semi modular synth from impromptu up to patch. So let's connect the bit to the clock and um, let's connect the output as well left and right oops like so and then let's change the length to let's use the dial here to this time for different steps only very simple now for each of these steps let's lower the octave twice for all uh, the four steps and let's create a bit of melody let's put any flat uh, any flat uh, here let's click play perfect okay so let's go back Yeah, perfect. And let, let's add another audio channel for like so. Let's search again for MI Rack. And this time, let's add a drum plugin or module. So here we go. Drum, let's insert a kick at the patch. You find the trigger input, which will be the bit again, and the output left and right. And let's click play. the settings uh, let's make these a little bit more interesting uh, more decay no sustain like so yeah let's click play and you can continue like so it works really well let's add another one again let's search for um, my rack 
and let's go inside expand let's click on the plus sign let's go to the tags let's bring up the drum again let's add i don't know for example um open hi-hats uh to patch let's connect to the bit and the left and right channel to the output of the open hi-hats close click play <laughs> Okay, as you can see, great news, MI Rack working inside uh, AUM or another host as a UV3 unit or audio unit, so perfect. We will definitely record more tutorials on how to use MI Rack now as an audio unit. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview. See you next time. Bye.